Hey everyone, I hope that you're enjoying Open Day Live so far. Hope that you enjoyed hearing all about our new USA campus that's launching in Phoenix, Arizona. It's incredibly exciting. So in this session, uh, Life After College, I've brought a couple of my friends along. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, and they're actually part of the Hillsong College marketing team. So this is Anastasia Anstey. Hello. And Thank she's our content creator and graphic designer. And this is Wesley Cortez. Hey, to the way. Fala, galera. Um, <laughs> we'll get subtitles for that one. Yes. Um, and he's <laughs> actually our future students and engagement um, manager. Um, so if you're actually calling our future students line, it's most likely you're going to be talking to, to him mm -hmm. or to one of our other representatives um, on the team. So yes. thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Um, what I wanted to actually show you or introduce is our new merchandise line, which is very exciting for Hillsong College. Um, so as a team, we've designed it. Um, we've got hoodies, we've got track pants. Do you want to give us a twirl? Mm, look at this. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, and so this is going to be available from February 28th on our Hillsong store online. So you can get it anywhere in the world. Make sure you tell your parents, your grandparents, your kids. Nice, <laughs> get the whole team kitted out in our Hillsong College merch. Um, but we're really excited. So February 28th is when it goes live online. Um, so just head to the Hillsong store, Google it. You'll find it. It'll come up. Um, we're excited for you to rep college with us. Yes. Um, yeah. So what we thought we might do is just have a little bit of, uh, of a chat about life after Hillsong College because all three of us actually went through college. Um, yeah. I did it. 2012 to 2014 so I moved from New Zealand to do college and then um yeah graduated in 2014 when did you do college I did college in 2014 um so just as Rachel graduated I did two years I knew you were coming so I left <laughs> She's probably not joking. um so I started in 2014 I did two years and graduated in 2015 so I did all 2014 to 2015 and I did the pastoral leadership stream that's awesome nice and I came in July 2014 too I did were you the same intake oh no, no, we're no I came in July yeah best one Jokes. Uh, I did July too, so no, I agree. I agree. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> left me hanging live. Wow. Oh, good. How embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> yes, and I did three years of pastoral leadership as well in the city campus, and now I'm hopefully finishing my masters. So Ooh, yes, hopefully. yes, that's okay. one of the pathways that you for can. Have. Yes, please. please. Um, so we just wanted to talk to you about a few of the avenues that you can actually move into after you finish your study. So, for me yeah. personally, I am. Um, I'd already studied before I came to Hillsong College. I'd done a, a business degree. Mm -hmm. And so after finishing two years of Hillsong College, I came on staff at Hillsong Church um, as a brand manager of Hillsong College. So what I do is all the marketing communications is what I learned in my degree before I came. So I was able to put that into use. Um, I actually did the vocals and creative stream. Um, but I firmly believe that you can upskill yourself and you can actually use more than one thing that you perhaps are really skilled at um, for musicians or singers or whatever that may be for creative streams, um, but that there's actually more to discover about yourself. And I think Hillsong College really helped me to do that, to understand that I was gifted in business and management and marketing, and then actually to use my degree and then work that into being able to do that for ministry has been such a blessing for me. So that was that's a pathway that I've taken after college um, doing ministry, but in business, which I'm really passionate about. Um, so all that to say, you don't have to, uh, want to become a minister or a pastor. Um, but if you want to be a businesswoman or a businessman, or if you want to be a teacher or a doctor, or we just need influences. We need incredibly strong, passionate Christians in all, um, spheres of life. And so that's what we're really, really passionate about raising leaders to, to, to be that. Yeah. What was your journey like? Yeah, so I did the pastoral leadership stream. Um, but two years later, when I graduated, I actually got a job as a graphic designer and social media manager. And that role's kind of evolved into content creator. So still 
um, doing that kind of stuff, but just a little bit more um, with like digital as well. And also, I'm also with my husband, we are looking after youth and young adults out at Macquarie, Hillsong Macquarie, which nice. is awesome. So that's so, a location yeah. um, here in Sydney. Yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. <laughs> um, but basically everything that I learned in pastoral leadership just set me up for who, like who I am and who I and becoming within my job, but within my volunteering role as well. So I think that doing pastoral leadership, it's even though I wasn't learning about like graphic design and all of that kind of stuff, I think it really helped me with my people skills, with who I who I was growing to be, um, with my foundations in the word. And I think that that's really important um, to be able to impact in any sphere of life. Um, so I feel like, well, I have actually, taken a lot of what I've learned in pastoral ministry, pastoral leadership, and applied it to my job role and also my volunteering role. I love so that. It's, yeah, it's never a waste. You're such a great example of someone who you did the pastoral stream, but you're creative. And now that's actually what you're working in. It's not yeah. Path, being a pastor isn't yeah. your full-time job. Yeah. It's a graphic designer, yeah. a content creator, social media yeah. manager. Yeah. And then in the weekends, yeah. you're serving, you're volunteering as a pastor, yeah. but that's not your full-time ministry. And I love that. Yeah. It's an incredible example. Yeah. Wesley? Yes. So it's good to hear that because we have an example of a business career. We have an example of ministry. I went more into the academic sphere um, for the purpose of preparing myself. So I still want to build the church. I still want to change the world somehow. I still want to have some like a relevant life. But I felt like I needed to have this, this step forward, this going a bit deeper into the Word, into biblical studies, into knowing what the Bible is and knowing more about it. So I went into my Master's of Arts program. And that means that if you have any other degree, you're able to enter the Master's of Arts as well. It's quite equivalent to the Master's of Divinity in the U.S., and that allowed me to go deeper into biblical studies, into theology, for the purpose of preparing myself for ministry. So I'm sitting now with students from all over the world and discussing things like social justice, like hermeneutics, what the Bible means and how to read it, is studying in depth so many books of the Bible. And that has been amazing. Yeah. amazing for me so that. yeah that's my academic pathway that's awesome so that's definitely an option for Hillsong College grads graduates is to move on from the practical leadership and ministry training um in a vocational courses to then move into the degree courses so we actually offer degree and master's programs at Hillsong College yeah. and also on our online campus so that's definitely a pathway for life yeah. after the vocational courses um we also have a number of academic agreements with universities across the states, um, also in Switzerland yeah. um, for anyone in Europe. So if you do your vocational training, your one, two or three years, you can actually transfer your credits mm -hmm. into um, Hillsong College or um, any university that we have academic agreements with yeah. um, internationally, yes. which is an amazing um option pathway. Yeah. Um, I think it's also great to mention that a lot of our Hillsong College graduates actually go on to build Hillsong campuses globally. Yeah. So we have Hillsong alumni in every, I'd say every single, I think location, every yes. single location, I think it's about 17 or 18 international campuses now um, that all have Hillsong College alumni. Yeah. And so there is definitely the pathway to go into ministry. Obviously, it's what yes. we're building and raising up leaders to do, yes. um, to actually be involved in work within the church. So those options are available. Um, and then I think, as I mentioned, you don't have to be a pastor to be in ministry. The, the character transformation, um, the leadership skills that you learn here are transferable into whatever industry you may enter after this. So yes. for me personally, I learned a lot about myself a lot about team management, which I now have to implement in business. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a really good opportunity to focus on your understanding of the Bible, um, your relationship with God, really building um, a strong understanding and connection with God to have longevity just in your Christian walk. Yes. Um, I, th I think any time done at Bible college is just not wasted. Never. Um, yes. Is there any, anything else, yeah. any other pathways that you can think of? Um, uh, we've had so many people going into having passion projects as well, um, um, opening their own businesses, yeah. or going into mission field. 
Um, it feels like the leadership that you've learned here sets you up for whatever you have in your heart. So if anything, will never be a waste. Yeah. So don't ever be afraid. Wow, how can I use this? Whatever you learn here, it's going to set you up for a win for life. I love that. So what we're actually going to do is play um, a little test, a little, a little testimony, um, a short testimony of um, one of our Hillsong College alumni. Um, he actually plays for the Wallabies, which is the Australian um, Rugby Union national team. Um, being from yes. New Zealand, like that's a, that's a big deal. <laughs> so rugby, if you haven't heard of it um, across the world, is quite big in Australia and New Zealand. And so this alumni has risen to the top, the top team that you can in Australia. Yeah. Um, he did two years of Bible college. Yes. And um, and check out his story. So my full name is Brandon Alexander Parker Amosa. I started college in July 2014. I did college for two years and I studied pastoral stream as a youth leader. My last 20 bucks is probably a dinner box at night. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go to one of the island kids that's a Oops, please, bro. Cuss up, please. I know you're not listening to I started playing rugby league at the age of 15 and I was like, oh, I want to play rugby. So I switched to playing rugby and never looked back ever since. And yeah, I love it. College was such a solid in my mind. Like, so it really taught me like how to connect with people. And it actually gave me those skills to be a leader, to be able to step out, to be able to speak to people properly and like comfortably, and that I can do it right now. So I highly recommend that thinking about doing college really step out and not be afraid to do it. It's a massive leap, but I'm telling you right now, it's a leap in the right direction and I hope you are so much. So I hope you enjoyed that testimony. Brandon is so great. Um, we're super proud of him. So stick around for the next session. Uh, it is degree for me, um, as we've been speaking about, there is definitely a pathway for our vocational students to then move on to do their degree. So check out the next session, see if degree is something that you'd be interested in. Um, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of Open Day Live.